Well, I grew up in Midland. My dad was a geologist. And uh, when I was in first grade, we moved to Corpus Christi and went through high school in Corpus Christi. And I went to the Air Force Academy my first year of college. And I transferred to the University of Texas and got my business degree there and then came on to Dallas to SMU Law School. I practiced law for one year. Uh, I didn't like a day of it. Every time somebody, I was doing oil and gas tax law, I was a tax lawyer, and every day somebody came in with a, with a deal for me to work on, uh, I was so interested in what they were doing that I wanted to be on the other side of the table. You know, something was shared with me by my dad. If you're, if you're thinking about going into business, uh, whether it's for yourself or whatever, uh, he, he told me, he said, and this was before he had any money, he, says, he said, Bob, don't ever work for money. He says, do something you're passionate about that you love and the money will take care of itself. And that stuck with me and it's proved to be really true. I love what I do and you know, I've got a wife who's been extremely supportive and kids who've been extremely supportive and mentors. There was a man in Corpus, his name was, was Richard King and he took me under his wing and uh, was, was a really, really great mentor and uh, one of the, my favorite things I remember is that he told me when we got back to Corpus, he said, and this was South Texas, you gotta remember. He says, he says, Bob, if you're gonna be successful in South Texas, you gotta do three things. You gotta dance the two-step, hit a golf ball, and shoot a shotgun. And uh, <laughs> I laughed back on that, but it was actually pretty good advice. When I was a, a young guy, uh, my dad lost his job. And he was a young, str and young struggling geologist. Uh, and I remember the times that my parents were really, really struggling just to pay their bills. And that had a big impact on me uh, because it was, it was scary. And so as a result, uh, I worked really hard in school. And my dad stressed, my parents stressed, you know, do, do well in school because it opens doors. And it did. That's why college, I think for these kids, is it opens every door. No matter what background you're from, if you get a college education, you, you have access to a world that you just don't have if you don't get the college degree. I think programs like Junior Achievement are, are, are critical to help develop a, a work ethic for, for kids while they're in school and uh, early, early on so they can carry that through their life. I didn't have the benefits of Junior Achievement or a curriculum about you know, entrepreneurial spirit and uh, how the free enterprise system works. I picked that up later in life, but I think I would have uh, I would have loved it, and that's what I would have gravitated to if I'd been a fourth grader and had it available. Over the years, I'd say that you know relationships have become much more important to me. Um, my relationship with my family, my wife, my kids, my relationship with my friends, uh, my relationship with my coworkers. I mean, faith is a big part of my life. And so, you know, when I look at my, you know, what's important to me, I look say, well, am I being, am I being pleasing to the Lord? So is that, you know, that's how I define success today.